Hello, I'm Catherine Woodvine, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about my two books, The Mystery of the Clockwork Sparrow and The Mystery of the Jeweled Moth. These books are both very much inspired by the children's books that I loved best when I was growing up, in particular mystery stories. I loved series like Ina Blyton's Famous Five and the Nancy Drew books. I also loved reading Sherlock Holmes stories and this series, The Lone Pine Books, by an author called Malcolm Savile. The books were also inspired by Edwardian children's classics like The Railway Children, The Secret Garden and A Little Princess. The Mystery of the Clockwork Sparrow is set in Edwardian London. It's 1909 and Sophie is a young girl who has just got a job at London's glamorous new department store, Sinclair's. But while there, she falls under suspicion of being involved in the theft of the priceless Clockwork Sparrow. She and her new friends have to turn detective to try and find out who is really behind the crime. In The Mystery of the Jeweled Moth, we return to Sophie and friends as they set out to solve a new mystery. This time, a young lady's brooch has gone mis missing in mysterious circumstances. To find out what happened, they must follow a trail of secrets that leads them right across London, from a high society fancy dress ball to the shadowy East End. Both of these books are very much inspired by London as a city and its history, so I thought it might be fun to take you on a very quick whistle-stop tour of some of the real-life places that have inspired the books. Their adventures take Sophie and her friends all over London, from the river to its parks to its famous shopping streets. In the story, Sinclair's department store is inspired by the real history of Edwardian department stores, many of which you can still visit in London today. One of the most famous is Selfridges, which originally opened in 1909, and of course has also inspired the TV series Mr Selfridge. This is Fortnum & Mason, one of London's best known department stores, which makes me think of Sinclair's whenever I visit. It's known for its beautiful window displays, not to mention its delicious cakes. In the books, Sinclair's is situated here on Piccadilly Circus, in about the same location as one of my favourite real-life London shops, Waterstones Piccadilly. This is the largest bookshop in Europe and it has an amazing selection of children's books. But even though their adventures may take them all over the city, there's always time for Sophie and her friends to take a break for some all-important tea and cakes or maybe even an ice cream. I hope you've enjoyed visiting London with me today and I hope you'll enjoy discovering the mystery of the Clockwork Sparrow and the mystery of the Jewel Moth. Thanks for listening. <laughs>